said, the types of posts you post don't always have to be you know specific to your audience they could be in like this is kind of a hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about the top 10 post types or really the 10 post types that you need to be using to make attraction marketing work now of course there's variations on this but we're going to get into that we're going to talk about the top 10 posts that you should be using the post types in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right there's a bunch of different kinds of posts you can create different um types I guess you could call them right different types of posts and we're going to talk about the top 10 or at least the 10 that are recommended by leaders and uh for especially for attraction marketing you're trying to build a business online you're trying to attract people to you well you need to be doing almost all these posts probably all of them at least once in a while and we're going to get to that before we do that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis489.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and showing you a lot more on this important topic I've been kind of putting this off right I just like it's like one of those topics that I've learned over the last couple of years that I I don't do as well as I should and I feel like I need to improve it before I teach it but it's just a topic that I keep talking about that I I kind of have to you know force myself to go through it and kind of um I actually going to show you right now what I'm talking about if I uh, show you right now I have a training that I can actually uh, send you a link to if you're interested in that um I'm not really sure how much it's going to be whether uh but it's definitely worth something and let's just see right over here so it's from somebody uh one of my leaders one of my mentors Aaron Birch right if I just let's just kind of show you a little bit so she's got these post types here right she talks about this and let's just go to a post at a, some point I'm we're going to talk about these different posts and obviously you can screenshot this or look at this but let's say we talk about so she's got one here and actually I'm going to turn the the mic on so you can hear what she's saying but this is part of one of the trainings that you can get she's talking here about okay so some <clears throat> so let's just talk about this one let me sh let you listen in on this there we go okay and I look over and my headphones were in a knot just in a mess I don't know how it happens they seem to just do it on their own so I showed a picture of headphones in a knot and I just said you know I swear to God, headphones, when you're not looking, tie themselves into a knot. Does anyone else? Actually, this is not exactly what I want. Is It's in full screen mode, so you can't even see Aaron there. Let me just reposition this so you can actually see. Let me see, how can I do that? I think I have to... Yeah, I can't make it full screen, but you know what? I have the video, so this is at what? At 18.51? At 21. Let's go to the video itself. Let me just go find that in a second here let's go find the video and just play it directly so you can see what uh, she's talking about specifically um, hold on I'm getting there just got to go to folder here go find where that is There we go we're loading that up and I'll show you what it looks like um, I'll actually put it full screen here so we're going to go over the we said 21 okay she was right here all right so 
oh shit this play pause it all right so let's just bring it in here so it takes up the whole this whole area okay let's go back to the screen share there we go all right so let's turn the also the audio on right here in a knot and I just said you know I swear to god headphones when you're not looking tie themselves into a knot does anyone else agree with this I had like 150 people going oh my god yes me too I know right and then when I went live Facebook showed that the, showed my video to more people so this one I came across a picture of me when I was 16 so I posted it and I just said uh, so what did you look like in the 80s were you a headbanger, new waver, punk? Were you even alive? This is me at the age of 16. The super fair one, obviously. <laughs> I was very new wave and oh so cool. Drop a pic of you from the 80s. Come on, don't be shy. Right? So I'm I'm All right, so right here she's talking about a engagement post I would we talk about the different kinds of posts let me see do I I have the I have that I mean okay so here's the thing when you're building a business online you're trying to build a tr you're trying to get people attracted to you right like if I go to my profile right if I just go to my profile you can see on my page you can see posts about my course income secrets episodes I do every week right you can see right now I just posted a video of my houses uh uh of my house's christmas lights with funky music which isn't even christmas music but anyways maybe i'll redo it but this kind of shows the lights that i have uh well that we have on our house right now right also i post pictures of you know plants and sunrises and sunsets so those are kind of all and let's and those are kind of all uh whoops wrong one let's go see the list we have our list of different types of posts is this one here so we have these kind these are the kinds of posts all right you need to be creating these posts now the thing about these posts and if if we go back to Aaron Birch's um I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna give you a link to that that's not it where is it it's actually here but here if we go back to her list right I mean in the course there's also the uh, the 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 workbook that she's showing on the screen here you have a you can actually print it out put it out in your own stuff but um if we go back to where we had the list there we can see the list on the video here right I was actually trying to find that earlier and but obviously these are not these are not there's two the one and two on the on the top there one and six I guess but you know she kind of explains what they are right what are these what are these right what are these posts right and that's the thing oh let's me I'm, I did this again sorry okay so I mean this is the thing so you're not supposed to post always the same kind of post like me I'm not posting enough of variations for sure right I do engagement posts right where you post something where you're kind of asking a question where you're saying you know um get trying to get people to respond yes or no do you agree do you not agree you know oh my god life is is so hard don't you think you know it could be that obviously a negative negative post is not uh, not the right idea but the reason you need these engagement posts is because Facebook will show your post to people based on how often people react to your post right so if you're not posting engagement posts whenever you're posting something that you want people to see versus just post for uh, <laughs> for Facebook to be happy with you which is kind of what engagement posts can be right um <coughs> then you people won't see your post that's that's the thing right you gotta you gotta oops, sorry about that you got you gotta be posting engagement posts mm, I I would almost like to put a percentage on these things right so you and that'll kind of help me too to kind of put together a proper plan right but let's say well first of all 
your social proof results product curiosity so these three kinds of posts right these three kinds of posts should be about 10 to 20 percent max of your posts right so let's say that this was five percent this whoops let's do it like this right let's do five percent of these whoops five percent and let's do this one five percent as well so total will be 15 percent will be some of these posts right now let's and this is kind of me thinking out loud with you right T kind of talking about the different things but the rest so this is 15 which means that if I did five percent of everything right that would be 50 percent right so if I do 10 percent of this 20 30 40 50 60 percent 70 percent 75 and 80 right so for me I think that value quotes posts quote posts can probably be five percent as well they don't need you don't need to be quoting all the time like if you're just doing that you're not it's well any of the posts any of the posts if you're doing them just that then you're not gonna get any really traction right it's got to be a variation of stuff and um your story post is basically your story right your background things about how you got to where you are like Erin was talking about uh, her uh, jewelry um, uh, business that she did when she started when she first started and whenever she had um when she was struggling in in their in her life and her marriage and everything else part of the thing that she tried to do was to go and make some extra money by starting a jewelry um table I guess at the local flea market and that gave her you know a little bit of income but basically she was spending all her time all her time doing that so she didn't really that really didn't solve it for her but she did that and lots of people do that and so she talks about that story and how she got to where she is now and that's kind of her backstory right that's what your story post should be me I mean I did I have started my own businesses in the past like an actual uh, dot com business where we had like 40 people that worked for us uh, valuation 20 million but you know that is a job I just basically started a job right where I have to go every day I have to you know that's not what I want right so that's kind of part of my story right is that trying to build this and now working from home on a job that's basically nine to five or more even these days especially this time of year for the business I'm in or the business that my job is in I should say but I I don't want to have to have a boss I, I want to be free right and that's kind of what uh, that's what that's all about for me right and so yeah so I mean okay so now let's just talk about the percentage I'm just kind of curious story post entertainment post lifestyle post value posts and so engagement post okay so story post I don't think that should be much more than let's just put 10 percent on all of these just to see how that adds up right because really we don't want we want an average we want like you know randomness of stuff right Facebook lives maybe 10 percent as well engagement post let's see what happens if I do this this won't add up I don't think right because we do have 10 20 30 40 50 60 and then 70 and 80 right so there's a missing there's a missing 20 percent so let's say lifestyle I'm going to put 20 percent lifestyle and if I put 10 20 okay then I'm, then we'll kind of cover what the different uh, types of posts are in in just a second I just kind of want to make sure I get uh say we make this 15 and entertainment 15 as well story post 10 okay so let's just say so does that add up to so 20 30 uh 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 okay that adds up to 100 percent. so that basically means that if I was to post one if I was to post two like let's say this is two per week two per week this is one per week this is this is like let's say this is one per week so that means this is two per week and this is four per week so let's do it that way so this will be uh 15 will be three per week right so let's just see if that adds up if it makes sense actually this won't be enough still right put that over here 
just want to make sure they're all aligned so I can add them up and I can kind of like say okay this is what I want to be doing or what I should be doing in my posts in my schedules so this again this is one no this is two per week this one is three per week let's see if that makes any sense at all one per week oops one per week so that will actually mean a hundred posts a week I don't think that I want to be doing a hundred posts a week two per week right because that would be four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen oh 20, 20 per week so that might not be too bad so that's 20 20 posts per week which means that it could be you know one to two a day right so I mean let's say I did two a day over a week that would be 14 right so that might not be that not so anyways I guess the thing is it you kind of have to figure out how many posts you want to do and then you you obviously have to plan them a little bit whatever which I don't do I, I need to work on that but if you can you know come up with a a planning a process planning and the course a, a course planning you know what I have, I have a bunch of other courses I can probably send your way which go through all this stuff that I actually can can help you with in terms of pricing I'm not really sure sometimes this doesn't show the the list just go back to here and go back to here there okay so there's a bunch of different things content creation con again two content creation courses here there's also uh, repurposing reels uh geez uh, power promotion zero rejection go for yes the top earner framework the so social stories at sizzle the rest are just tests on the bottom there uh, but you know how to eight steps to close a sale the profile profits playbooks challenge st challenge strategy secrets the community cash flow YouTube for shorts so all these different courses uh, I can get them for you I'm, I'm not really sure what uh, my plan is in terms of cost or pricing or whatever but anyways reach out to me and tell me hey I want this course and then I'll let you know what the what the current prices because they these are all worth like between two two to five hundred dollars each at least right whenever they're sold or to 197 to 497 right whether that's going to be the price that really depends but these are all courses from top leaders top earners and not like none of this plr junk or you know those those courses that are free which you know i can give you access to those if you want to like, i mean if i go to plr here my PLR uh, site that you can pay 20 bucks for or something I think it's 27 bucks or 17 or I forget what it is but you get access to all those for you to resell and also I just log in here uh, you can access all these and resell all these and there's a ton of different things right content marketing look at that content marketing mastery just perfect example right there's make time for your make time your friend seven figure tycoon the growth mindset opt-in funnel crash course resilient body side hustler blueprint ebook zero to hero blogging for bucks just video upsell power of perseverance I achieve your goal I mean look at that there's like never ends and, and by the way over here there's like see 395 pages of 10 time times like this like literally 4,000 courses in here that you could maybe learn stuff with or that you can resell right but anyways that's not the point the point was that I want to talk to you about the different kinds of content the different kinds of courses or, or not courses but content that you need to be posting like when we talk about these over here these different kinds of posts now this number that I put for it here 20 posts per week that's probably a little high so you might want to do you know half of that right 10 po well no 10 posts a week is not a lot right it's more than one a day right but you can kind of average it out right you can say let's say I want to do three of the like you have to do the math obviously if you want to be perfect but it's not about being perfect it's about over a month let's say over a month you did 40 posts in a month right that's 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 a little over one a day so these would be 
per month you do three per month well two per month two per month right whatever it is right that ends up being your percentage not now let's go back to why it's important to not post a lot of this especially stuff about your product well first of all you should not be posting about your product in terms of pictures of your product or things like that you don't want people to know what your product is and it's not about hiding it it's because if they know what your product is <coughs> they're going to google the product they're going to see all the negative reactions and negative comments because you know people post what they don't like they'll post a lot more about what they don't like their complaints than their you know their the, than what they like so first of all that's one reason second reason is if they really want that product well not even if they don't really want it if they google it and they're not you know swayed away from the negative stuff and they find some positive things they're probably going to find positive things from other people selling your product like your competition somebody else who's selling in their product who's been selling it for longer than you and they probably will buy from that other that other person that's why you don't want to show your product and when people tell you well why are you hiding your product why can't you show me your product why don't worry about it they're not going to buy from you anyways if they're complaining like that if you can explain to them what I just said to you then maybe they'll buy from you because they like you and they know you but if they're just reaching out to you and just complaining about that particular fact how you're hiding things and whatever then they're not ever going to be your customer anyway so don't even worry about it and that's one of the struggles that everybody has when they're building online they feel that those people those you know those uh those haters I guess is one of the terms they use those haters they will always try to complain and tell you how bad you're doing what you're doing is wrong and all this stuff and you can't let them affect you they'll they're out there just don't let them affect you okay but the point is that you don't want to be talking about your product your business opportunity or your or your social proofs and your results right all the time you got to do it less than the rest right and we're talking about engagement posts engagement posts are important if we go back to uh, Aaron's document I wonder if I can I see it here I'm just wondering if I can just uh if I go to this and I look at this file here I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do 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 so details no I'm not really sure not really sure how do I I just look at this I know that I can access the course here I see the video right here but then there's the file right here I'm supposed to be the I think I have to be in the course like this is a course editor here I have to be inside the actual course as a member like when you're in the course you can actually download that file when you're in it this is just the editor uh maybe there's a is there there's a preview there it is maybe I'm going to be able to see it here there there you go yeah if I just click on this I can download it there you go I wanted to show you this right okay so so basically right um she explains what the different types of posts are Let, let's actually just let's just go ahead and do that so number one the lifestyle post right to allow people to get to know like and trust you so I I kind of beg to differ on that because for me every single post should be to get people to know you now whether they like and trust you based on you know an engagement post or social proof or quotes or whatever they'll get to know you because you know if you post quotes well the quotes you post are the quotes you like so they'll know they'll they'll like you based on whether they like those quotes if they don't like the quotes you post they're probably not going to like you or at least they're not going to connect, connect with you as much right value posts is where you teach something in your audience right so you want to teach them something about anything like me right now I'm doing kind of a value post a value you know episode my course income secrets are kind of value posts they're all about teaching something that I feel is good for you to learn and uh 
and so yeah so that's that's what a value post is okay quotes post is pretty obvious it's a quote you post you put in a post you can put a quote on your own pictures that helps you to brand you if you want uh that's a that's a good way to do quotes um entertainment posts you know being funny being being uh being interesting being whatever entertain enter, what can be entertaining right story posts is story of stories about you so talk about your story your background how you got to where you are your epiphanies people you met maybe things like that right number six is engagement posts right so the engagement post is to get Facebook to see that people are actually viewing your stuff and commenting on your stuff so that Facebook shows your post more to others other posts to others right that kind of stuff that's what the engagement posts are for social proof business post product curiosity post those are basically to let people know what you're about what you can help them with um, and when we talk about business opportunity curiosity posts if you're like in the network marketing business you're trying to attract people to join your business you don't want to be saying what your business is you know what products you have all those kinds of things for the reason I just said earlier right people will go and search for your product for your business they'll find other people that have been doing it longer than you and or they or they'll see all the negativity around it and not join or whatever right that's that's why you don't say the names or anything then the last one <coughs> is Facebook lives now personally I'm not doing them that much in these days I'm not sure if they're still as efficient as they used to be but it's definitely a great type of post to do as well because Facebook lives can you can have interaction you can have direct interaction now if you can get to a point where you do a Facebook live every week or something like that then you're probably it's certainly going to help your brand that's for sure so these are the 10 types of posts that you should be doing and I don't mean like that you need to be doing uh you know all these kinds of posts all the time you can do just just a little bit see like this when we're talking about four per week two per week one per week so this could be just once a month it doesn't have to be once per week the, you could do like six of these and you know two of these or or once or you know once every two weeks or whatever you come up with a kind of schedule but kind of look at this as a blueprint for your types of content that you're going to be creating and like I said me I have to I have to improve my you know post kind of organization because I don't really I kind of wing it I just post whenever I find an inspiration to post which might be okay too and that certainly is kind of working for me but I to be even better this would be a great thing for me to do but that's kind of what the posts are and if you're doing attraction marketing you kind of have to be doing very close to this if you really want it to be as effective as it could possibly be all right so like I said the types of posts you post don't always have to be you know specific to your audience they could be in like this is kind of a an, an engagement post right I got 42 comments on this right um this here is kind of a lifestyle post or you know just uh my and my family right here that's actually my wife posting this but I mean that's the thing right then here's another this is a this is an engagement post but th this particular one was because I was actually looking at um uh naming inside of my uh one of my funnels so I was just kind of asking a specific question of one or two I didn't get a lot of comments on this but that kind of shows right here's another one 37 comments on this one right and like this picture here or this is a video reel because Facebook wanted me to do a reel but this is about the plants I have I have little plants right um I don't know if it shows it says nine nine reactions but with reels it's kind of like you don't get comments right you don't see them I had 11 these are basically the pictures in the reel um and then here's another kind of an engagement post 45 comments right 45 comments here so and and here's another one I did here which was my reverse social which I'm kind of working on I got six not a lot not a ton 16 comments still pretty good and some of these post 16 comments hello is this thing on right so that was kind of an entertainment a little bit kind of a joke but at the same time uh um a engagement post again 18 comments here right this is definitely uh another one 
of an engagement post 23 right it's not millions of comments or anything and sometimes you know I get nothing right see like this one here I posted this picture here I didn't get a single comment or just like maybe four reactions right it's crazy how it changed but anyways the whole point is if you go if you get kind of on a process where you're kind of doing this for a while right obviously you don't just do this for a week or two you got to do this probably for six months a year or more so not to scare you but it does take a while but this is definitely one of the things that will help your attraction marketing journey all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time